between the periods of Memorial Day and Labor Day, um, it's called the 100 Deadliest Days for Teens. And it's a period of time during the summer when there's more traffic on the road, teens are out of school, they're on the roads more, they're inexperienced, they may be on the roads at night when they normally would not be on the roads. Um, so about 30% of our children that die in car crashes happen during this 100 Deadliest Days. First, parents need to know what their graduated driver's license law is for their state, and that can be readily found on numerous websites, including ours. You also need to remind teens of consequences when they're driving, if they break any of your rules. A parent contract is a really good thing to have with teens so they know what they can do and what boundaries they can't do. They need to limit the number of passengers in the car, limit distractions. That includes eating and drinking in the vehicle, playing with the radio, that type of thing. The number one reason that teens die from car crashes is they're not wearing their seat belts. Teens are given a little bit more freedom during the summer, um, so they may be able to go to the mall or go uh, to friends' houses or places they don't normally go, so they're not familiar with those roads. Um, the roads can be dark. There may not be appropriate lighting, so they cannot um, see very well. Um, so there's just different obstacles at night that um, may create um, more um, risk involved in driving at night.